Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Cindy. It's very lovely to meet you. Boy, do I have news for you. I unfortunately get scanned quite often. I'm not very street smart. Yeah, you know the Nigerian prince scam? Yeah, I fell for that. I fell for that back in uni. But thankfully, this one is much more recent. Got scammed last week and I managed to get my money back. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you the story of how I got scammed and how I managed to get my money back. But before we go straight into this video, my partner and I design and create Pokemon parodies on the side. My partner pretty much comes up with a wordplay and I basically just draw them out. Today I am having the shiny Piduck. If you want to see all the designs, everything is on the window store.com I'll link everything below we sell everything in the form of mugs coasters and hoodies so by all means if you see something you like or if you know someone you like it would really help me out hello just before you guys actually watch the video um I get quite into it <laughs> as in all my emotion comes up so I apologize to the buds if you uh, was looking for a calm video this is not it <laughs> like go and watch something else enjoy so let's quickly go all the way back to monday 28th november 2022 which is only last week on that day i decided to get two tickets for my partner to go and see tom segura in may he is a major fan and i remember he mentioned in it a couple of times that he would love to go and see him but the tickets tend to get sold out quite quickly so since his birthday is in april next year and the show actually happens in may i thought that would be a perfect time to kind of wrap everything up like a Christmas, Christmas birthday present. So me as me, I don't know where to buy tickets. So I literally Googled Tom Segura show tickets and what came up was Viagogo. Viagogo is a site that sells apparently tickets online. And I clicked on it, it actually looks very legit. Even my partner looked at it, it looks very real. The tickets were pricey. The one in Wembley Stadium was happening in May, but the tickets were about 108 pounds. I purchased two tickets. It cost a total of 217 pound 34. And the seat that I bought was S14, row H, seat 152 to 153. That's important. After I bought the tickets, I could not control myself. It was supposed to be a surprise, but I couldn't help it. And I hinted at him that I got him something for his birthday present next year. He looked over and he immediately knew it was the Tom Segura show tickets. So Will actually had a look and he's noticed that the layout of the Wembley Stadium looked a bit off. I remember like, I don't know anything about any stadium, so I don't know what it looks like, but he said it looked a bit off. I went back to the website via Gogo and try repurchasing the tickets, not literally go through the checkout, but see if it was available and it still was available. That was about two, three hours after I purchased the tickets, which made me a bit worried. However, Will asked me to go and type in Viagogo Trust Pilots and that's where everything showed up. It was a scam. Every single review said that it was a scam. One individual has already bought tickets to the hotel, flights, everything to go and see the World Cup and it turned out the tickets either didn't turn up or it was invalid. Something happened so they wasted all their money and I really hope they got their money back. So what happened next was I started panicking and we all started looking at where we could actually get the tickets from, from Tom Segura's website. So we followed through it and there was a website called Axis or AXS. And over there you can actually purchase Tom Segura tickets for £84, the exact same seats, S14, row H, seat 152 to 153, the exact seat for 84 pound total, like for two tickets, it was only 84 pounds. So this is when I made a decision. I decided to purchase those tickets. He was adamant they'd get the exact same seats as before. So we got the exact same seat. So I got two tickets that are apparently the same seats from two different companies. And I called up American Express, which is the card I used to purchase the tickets from. I didn't purchase it because I thought it was a scam. I purchased it for the points, just to be clear. So American Express actually said not to worry, but they need to wait for the funds to clear. And then I need to 
open up a dispute when I haven't received the items. So for me, when I looked online, it states that I will receive the tickets two weeks before the show starts, which will be in May. And I panicked. There was no way that I was gonna remember something in May. That was something that I, I've done or got scammed back in November. So we had a look and luckily, luckily, there's a part that said that I should be receiving an email on the 29th of November saying that my tickets are ready. So the 29th rolled around, I didn't get my tickets. 30th is when I actually opened up a dispute with American Express. They've informed Viagogo. Viagogo contacted me asking if there's anything that they could do to help, like why did I open up a dispute? And I basically told them, and by this time I knew that it was a scam, so uh, I'm not really the most politest when it comes to it. I was supposed to receive my e-tickets by the 29th of November, as it was stated it was ready by then. Emailed and no one responded. Also, no one has replied in regards to the exact same seats being available on the official site. The response I got back was, Dear Cindy, thank you for contacting us in regards to your order blah, blah, for Tom Segura for the 10th of May. We have attempted to call you to answer your question and resolve any issues. I did wonder why they had to call me and not pull it in black and white email. In the meantime, please ensure that you can be reached on the phone number you have provided on via GoGo account. Another stupid part that I did was I did actually put my number on, which is stupid. However, that happened on a Saturday and then on a Tuesday afternoon, I received an email from Viagogo because I was ready. I was so ready to show my bank that I have two tickets, one from Viagogo that I purchased for this seat, this row, and one from the actual store for the exact same seat. And I've actually received a ticket from the official site. So there's no way that Viagogo could provide those tickets, not to even mention the price. So. They have sent me a message saying, Dear Cindy, it has come to attention that you have had an issue with your order on Viagogo and you have contacted your bank or payment provider to raise a charge back against this order. Transaction event Tom Segura, amount £217.34, compared to the £84 I spent on the official site. We are sorry to hear that your order did not match your expectations. I had a very standard expectation. I just wanted my ticket, the products that you were supposed to sell me. Considering the particulars of your orders, we have decided to side with your claim and to refund you the amount you contested by accepting your chargeback without dispute. So you are admitting that you have scammed me. Your bank or payment provider should be in touch with you shortly and transfer the money. So, Obviously, they wrote it in a very nice way, but essentially what they're saying is we could not purchase your ticket for £84 and make that profit off you because someone else has bought it and that someone else is me. That's essentially how I got my money back. Honestly, if I didn't purchase the exact same ticket, the exact same seat, row, I think I will be in a lot of trouble in the sense that they will probably go off and buy their actual tickets on the official website for £84. So they would make over a hundred and something and then show the bank that they're not scamming me, which means I will be paying overpriced tickets and also have a bad reputation, I guess, with the bank. But because I've purchased the tickets, I've avoided all of that because the, uh, the whole point is that when you purchase a ticket, you purchase that ticket, the seats should be empty straight away, which has happened on the official website, but just on the Viagogo it didn't. So that was my story. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Like if you enjoy the video and subscribe if you like me. <laughs> um, <laughs> If I'm tolerable is probably the right way for it. Anyway, that being said, thank you so much for watching. Honestly, I really appreciate all of your support just even by watching. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.